Hello, this is Lisa from Happy Stamp, and today we are going to be making a card. But as you can see, I don't have one sitting here like I usually do. I am using the Timeless Arrangements bundle, um, but I am also using the, uh, I think it's called Fresh as a Daisy. Is that it? Yep. Fresh as a Daisy Designer Series Papers. These are um, in the new catalog that is coming out in May. Um, but I really loved this. I saw this card, which I cannot show you right now, in the catalog. And um, I wanted to make it. So... I thought I would just give it a shot here. Um, now this is a piece of designer series paper that you cut all apart um, and you can make panels out of all of them. Oh, let me turn some lights on here. All right, so I cut, you get two of these sheets. I cut them all apart. I'm using this one down here and I didn't want to make two of the same, well, I probably will, but I didn't want to cut up another sheet of designer series paper. So um, in case I wanted to use the backside for something. So I cut everything all apart and um, so you're gonna be able to make backgrounds, thank you cards, whatever kind of cards. These will be good in um, journaling. These will be good for journaling for, um, you know, your scrapbooking. So um, I cut this sheet all apart, but I wanted to use this panel on a card. All right, so like I said, I case this out of the catalog. And in case you, <clears throat> when you get the catalog, if you want to see it, it is on page 67. I'm sure you'll notice it um, in there. Um, so I'm going to use this and I'm using a piece of wild wheat and I'm going to have to <laughs> do names again. And this is four and a quarter by 11 and I have that scored at five and a half. I have a piece of garden green, a piece of whisper white, and a piece of the distress, distress gold. And this is carrying over until into the new catalog. All right, so it's a very simple card, but I like I like this stamp set where you're using this piece as if you saw my haul video, I showed a couple of pieces um, in there and this is what we are going to be using. So, um, let's see, I'm gonna use the brushed gold with this one, the um, garden green with this one. Now this one, um, I used the thank you from the stamp set. It is right here. Um, in the catalog, um, we as demonstrators can download um, the catalog recipe, recipes for the card, for the cards that are in the catalog. And in, they use a different sentiment, I'm using a different sentiment, but the sentiment, I'm, I'm do, using everything that they use, but they used Poppy Parade for their sentiment. Um, I, I'm not feeling it on this, but I thought just, just because um, I'm going to stamp one in Poppy Parade just to see what it looks like. So I am taking a piece of uh, basic white, the thank you stamp, and this is the Poppy Parade. All right. Then, let me close that up so I don't get ink all over myself. Um, let's see, so, I forgot to, because this was kind of spur of the moment thing. Um, I need to cut an inside piece and I don't have my envelope either. So let me cut, let me cut my inside piece for my 
innards of my card. So that will be four by five and a quarter. So that will be for the inside. Also going to need an envelope. I don't think I have any sitting. Oh, what do you know? I do. I have one right here. All right, we'll figure out what we're going to do with the envelope. All right, so let me bring out my stamp it, cut, and emboss mach machine. I'm going to bring out my little one here. Another thing that you may not be aware of is from now until. Um, the catalog launches. Stamping Up is letting demonstrators order the Boho Blue mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. So if you would like to become a demonstrator and you would like to get this little machine, you may do so. Um, and then you will also be able to get in on the pre-order so that's pretty exciting all right so i'm gonna cut this one and then i'm gonna cut the one that i did in um, pecan pie oh and my point about the this machine here um, it will also be available to customers if there are any available after when the catalog launches. So, um, if you don't want to be a demonstrator and just want to wait, take your chances, there may be some available that um, you could order. You just never know. And you could always just um, become a demonstrator just to get the machine or just to pre-order and then, and then just don't order anything and drop off. That's perfectly acceptable. You can do that. Um, it's $99 plus free shipping. They give you all of your business supplies. Um, like I said, you can order from the mini catalog. I mean, the new catalog right now if you want to. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to um, reach out to me uh, at my email, um, lisatruckin at yahoo.com. And um, I would be happy to help you. Oh, I shouldn't have put that away. All right, so here is, I need to... cut out my flowers. So I'm going to bring this back out for a minute. So we are going to use the distressed gold for this one. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get two on one, unfortunately. All right. So there is that one. No. Hunter, please shut your door. Is the other one. Not right now, Hunter. Please shut your door. All right. The other thing that they used on this one that is carrying is over are the brushed butterflies. I think I am going to use the new either the 2325 new in color dots or the adhesive back solid gems because they have pecan pie here 
but then we have the wild wheat up here. So I will see which one I like. All right, so there's that one. And here's the one in the distressed gold. All right. And we'll get these out of the way. All right. So this is going to go right on here. And I don't even really know if you can notice it, but I also took, because um, this has a white core, and I didn't want to see the white core against the wild wheat. So what I did is I just took my marker and went around the edge. And I even like messed up in a couple of places, but I'm okay with that because I kind of wanted it to look distressed. So I did that as well. Oh, there it is. Why can I never have this in the same pot spot twice? Never. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put this. front of the card and I'm just measuring to make sure because it's not um, sized correctly for the front of card so just making sure that this and this and e are even and this and this are even as much as possible um, Maybe a little off, but that's okay. So then we can take this. We are going to decide. So these are going to go together like this. Just like that. So we'll get some glue. You can offset them. You do whatever you want to do. I'm going to put them together like this. All right. And then this is going to go down here. And then this is going to go right on the top. So I have the pecan pie version. Or I have, where did it go? What did I do with it? Oh, Lord have mercy. Did it fall down? Well, that is just typical. I see both pieces, and you're probably screaming at me. It's right there. But I do not see it. Let me just see if it fell on the floor. Oh my heavens. Does it stick on the back? stamp another one but I, I do kind of want to see if you know what it looks like because I mean it looks nice in the catalog but things look it, it it does not look like um whatever this is it stick to the back of my pad no stick to the back of this pad no I mean it doesn't look like poppy parade 
in the catalog. So I'm just kind of curious what it looks like. Where did it go? Who knows? All right. Make sure the other one stays there so I don't lose it. And let's try this again. All right. that one or this one I mean it looks okay but no I don't like it so I'm doing this one I'm going to adhere this on here just like that then let's take a couple of dimensionals see if I have any little ones here Need to get some more um, dimensionals here. I have all, which there's nothing wrong with the other ones. I can still use them. All right. And then this is going to go down here. I wish that I had a whole pack of this design right here. I want the whole thing. I know I'm weird, but I like it. All right. Let's move that just up. Just, all right, just like that. And I think, have just a little bit of a smudge right here. There. Might have just been some adhesive. All right. There is that. Then, so I have the pecan pie or the wild wheat I think I like the shininess of the wild wheat. So, and I think I'll do one of each size. There's small, medium, and large. I never know where to put these things. Okay. All right, so it's a little bit different than the one that's in the catalog, but I like it. All right, so for the inside, there's thank you and um,
Maybe I'll do I Really Appreciate You. And get it out of there. No. Take my pecan pie. My mat. This is, this is a photopolymer. like the mix of the script and the text in this font, or I mean in this suite. All right, so. That can go here. And you could stamp some flowers from, there's a nice leaf in there if you want to stamp something on the inside of your card. Um, I think I am going to do this leaf and these circles. So let's on the front of the envelope. Mm, I think I'm going to do the wild wheat on the front of the envelope. Stamp it again. All right, just like that. And then on the back, these little okay, just like that. They remind me of the grapes that my grandma had. The glass ones that she sat on her coffee table. That's what this reminds me of. All right, enough. <laughs> okay, so there is the envelope. And here is the card. These, this, all of this will be um, available in May. Um, so if you do not have a demonstrator and you need a catalog, please let me know. Um, if you haven't purchased from me, all I ask is that you cover shipping. So um, again, send me an email and I would be happy to send you an invoice just to get shipping from you. And then I will send out a catalog to you. Um, and yeah, I really like it. I wish I had like more of this pattern. Okay, so that is it. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.